if you're not really interested in, in, in uh, camera gear, you know, eh, check back with my next video. This camera here is what I normally do all my primary shooting on. Um, except for the, the motorcycle stuff. But I use this camera and a... This one's a D3300 and I use a D3200 uh, for this kind of thing here. So I actually have two camera bodies that are almost identical. This lets me swap lenses between the two cameras. Um, that last video that turned out like a pile of crap, I used this guy. This is an older camera. I've had it, I don't know, for years. Uh, this is probably like the second camera I actually bought for YouTube. I use it because it's rugged. It's it's uh, built like a tank. Unfortunately, it doesn't. You don't get real good shots with it because you're not stable with it. The form factor is a little weird, and uh, it's not very good in low light. Have a lot more control with this. I can control ISO settings. I can control aperture. I can control shutter speed. You don't get that with that other camera. You you, you get what you get. That said, I, I did use this for a couple shots, but I did have some audio problems. It was more problems with the mic than it was with uh, the actual camera. So that means I'll probably not be using this very much in the future. Just, it'll probably go in the drawer. Well, it kind of does anyway now, but I'll probably be using it a lot less. I might find some things to do with it. Uh, one thing I do like about it is this form factor, and it does have a... a uh, quarter inch 20 thread so you can use it on a tripod or something like that can't do that necessarily with a sport cam without a few extra extra things and I do have some um, projects that are coming up where I'm gonna want to use maybe this or maybe a GoPro I don't know yet um, I'll start revealing a little bit of that probably next week I got something coming in that I'm going to be playing with so also um probably not going to be doing a lot of motorcycle stuff for the next couple months because it is just cold wet rainy and nasty if there's a good day here or there yeah maybe i'll get out on the bike i almost did today but then the wind kicked up and it was just it got nasty quick i'm gonna go get some snacks i really don't need As you can see, the low light performance of this camera is so much better. The other thing I really like about this camera, it does have an external uh, mic input. So you can put like a Rode or uh, whatever. I use a, a Booyah. Uh, it was about a $30 mic. Uh, it sounds pretty decent most of the time. It's not quite as good as a Rode though. Um, the other th my complaints with this camera is I don't have a full articulated screen. This screen is fixed at this angle. It's the same with my D3200. This is my D3300. Uh, that's the biggest complaint I have, and that's almost indispensable as a vlogging camera. If this had that uh, on it, to me this would be the perfect vlogging camera, especially because of the price point, the external mic jack, which is, in my opinion, more important than even the articulated screen. Some people may, uh, may disagree with me on that, but that's just my feelings on it. In this particular situation, I actually use a monitor plugged into the camera. I'm just actually shooting with a kit lens in here. Uh, this is a uh, 20 to 200, I think. And this is my actual favorite go-to lens. I have a 50. I have a whole bunch of vintage lenses, but I have a, a 35 and a 50 for it. And this is my 20 to 200. This lens is an 18 to 55 kit lens that came with the camera. The biggest problem with this lens is the lens autofocus doesn't work anymore. B and H made it right. They were actually uh, they actually refunded me some of the purchase price because of the lens. Uh, I ended up buying the Tamron lens. Then I ended up putting on the 3200 body because. It didn't come with a lens, but I paid like 150 bucks for the body, and I couldn't pass it up. That way, when I'd have the second camera, I wasn't constantly plugging and unplugging, you know, the video in. I wasn't, you know, plugging in, unplugging the the, um, the mic in. Uh, I don't want to ruin the ports on the cameras. 
so this way this one can stay pretty much set up like this and then uh, plugged in like this and, I, and then it really cuts down on the wear and tear so I figured it was a, a cheap way to do it and it makes it to where I use this more often because it's not stuck in here I can just put this in my camera bag take the camera bag with me and go